The next appliance in the great big oven van with home spares and uh, Severin is this dehydrator. I've always wanted one of these. Um, it's really useful. It makes not only things like fruit leather or dried fruit, uh, but you can also do vegetables in it. And the thing I'm going to make in here is um, kale crisps. Now that's one of my favourite things if they're done properly. And I've got a really good recipe for seasoning, which I'll share on my blog. Um, now, as you can see, there's five layers here. You can either use all five or you can use a combination of two, one, two, three, whatever you want. You can also adjust the height um, by um, using the, the correct tabs on the inside of the layer. So you've got a, an extended tab here where you just put it on the others and it raises up the level so you've got a, a slightly higher platform. So I'm going to take all that lot off out of the way. Now here I've got um, some kale mixed with a dressing and I'm going to spread it out along the top. Now if I've got more I might put another layer on so we'll just see but it's not supposed to touch each other. So I'm going to just spread this across the top. So I've moved on to another layer and as you can see it was too low uh, on the on the lower level so I've actually moved it around so it sits higher up. It's still tight, it still uh, will keep the air in and still will work. So I'm just going to lay this, the rest of this across the top. All I simply need to do is put the lid on. So I'm going to do that, make sure it's sealed on properly, which it is. Press the switch on. And I've got to leave that for about four hours. So four hours later and the dehydrator should have uh, completed its job. So I'm going to switch it off here. Just push it back slightly. Remove the lid. And here we have some dried kale. So we do. I'm just tip it down into the bowl. There you have it. Some kale crisps. Mmm, very tasty.